Hello everyone, my name is Leyla Karatay. I'm currently a PhD student in Applied Linguistics and Technology at Iowa State University. I've just finished my MA thesis on call evaluation and I really want to publish this study in one of the journals of the field. And today I'm going to show you how I collect example articles in one of the journals of interest. And these example articles will help me create a model for me to write for publication. So let's get started. So the journal that I'm very interested in publishing my study is called Language Learning and Technology. And for those who haven't known about this journal, so this is quite a well-known journal in the field that publishes papers about using technology for language learning. And it has quite a good impact factor which is based on the number of cited articles in the journal every year. And in order to publish an article or have a chance to publish an article in this journal, the very first thing I will do is to review all gu guidelines for submission and research guidelines for the journal. I'd want to make sure that my research matches with the research priorities of the journal. And after reviewing all the requirements in terms of formatting and how to submit a paper, I really want to look at some examples of published articles in the journal so that I have a better understanding what is a good model that the articles in the journal are usually published. And in order to do that, I look for some articles that have the same research interest as mine. Because my research study is also about looking at the effects of using corpus tools on the student's academic writing, so I put in my search as effects academic writing. And I've got 426 results for that search. And I look through at the titles of the articles and select the ones that I'm most interested in. And the first thing comes up here is mobile assisted grammar exercises effects on self-editing in L2 writing. And it was written by Lee and Walker Hagelheimer from Iowa State University. And those are very two very well-known good researchers that have published many articles in different journals. So they will definitely have good writing that I think I could learn from. So I select this article because it has the same research interest as mine. And I also know the two authors of the article. And I look through it and I also see that the article has quite detailed information about each part of the research, explaining the theory, the context of use, and the tool, and the research questions. So I choose this article. And then I'll continue to look at other articles. And again, I look at whether it's an empirical research and look at the research design of the study to see if there's any resemblance or similarity with my study. And as you can see here, I scroll through the research article and I also found out that this might be a good article for me to look at. Moreover, I also know this author who is also a very good researcher in corpus-based language learning. So, I'll continue with the process until I have about 10 articles. And then, finally, I have a collection of several articles that I can look at. And then, I'll create a collection of examples that I can later on use. For each article, I'll also do some analysis. For example, I open Yoon's article. And then for each article, I'll look at specifically different parts of the article. And here is how I create my analysis table. I'll put some information, for example, how many sections there are, what the titles of the each section, the purpose of each section, and the functions and language resources that I use to signal such kind of functions for each of the sections in the article. As you can see here, the first section is abstract, the second section is introduction, and then I also look for what is the purpose of the section and look for language functions which are specifically used in the section. And I also try to note down some examples in the text itself that I can later on use. So over here you can see that I note down section 1, section, section 3, section 4, methodology. And after finishing all that analysis, I'll look at the paper here. I'll come up with my final evaluation of the article that I could have the citation of the article and my overall comment. And I'll continue this analysis for other articles and then I'll see if there are any similarities or differences. And based on that, I will be able to generate my own model that I will write my paper.